Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer, and this is the FTD World Cup. Uh, no battles in this one. We're just going to take a look at the entries. The uh, the World Cup was something that uh, has been going on for a few months now. Been through a few iterations. Basically, the idea the idea I think is you build a uh, a giant battleship and possibly some uh, smaller sub vehicles. And uh, these are all going to battle, but as you can see, a million RP. We'll see if my computer can handle it. Not entirely convinced. But in this one, we're just going to kind of take a look at uh, all the entries. There's a uh, beauty component as well as a combat component. Um, I think all the teams are voting with a, for, for the beauty, beauty points, and then I'll, I'll be running the battles for the uh, the combat uh, points but in this one we're just going to kind of take a look at all the entries so we have the UNS Aurora Battleship 1 take a look at this first uh, it's chugging it's chugging away and yeah, it actually loaded oh so much lag Actually, not too bad. All right, so what was this, the the Aurora? It's a beautiful ship, gigantic. Let's turn off the. Uh... Oh, there we go. That looks that looks a heck, of a lot, heck of a lot better. Not sure if this is walkable or not. Let's uh, hop in the avatar and see if we can find a door. Oops. Oh, I forget how do you open doors in this? Q, that's right. Usually don't play around as. Oh, look at that lag. gonna kind of miracle through the wall there <laughs> all right yeah it doesn't so not really walkable a little bit like you can kind of walk through a, a little bit but uh, not like a, a functional like interior but I don't think that's any part of the requirements and the uh, the exterior is uh, is gorgeous just kind of take a take a peek See if there's anything interesting under the water line. Overall, really nice looking boat. This is the U UNS Aurora. That's BB1. Let's 
look at the next one. Next we have the ad hoc accessum. The SC ad hoc accessum. We'll uh, take a look at that. Big leg spike as it loads in here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how these battles are going to go. This has a uh, fighter along with it. Or not a, a bomber, excuse me. Take a look at the, uh, the bomber. Second. Oh, it's a sort of a uh, battleship slash aircraft carrier. That's a nice touch. Well, I'll get rid of it. There we go. That's better. Lasers on this one. Oh, those. Wait, why? That doesn't make sense. This can't be functional. Oh, it's like clipped in. Okay, it's like spin using spin box to clip in the uh, uh, mantlets. So like that, there's no way that could be functional. Lambs. This is okay. This is the uh, it's like the high castle gunship, then. Very nice looking boat. Let's take a look at the uh, excess excess on. Right. Oh no, it's this is well, this is the high castle gunship. Okay, I suppose that makes sense, kind of. Big turrets for a plane.
Alright, overall really nice entry. Go ahead and restart the designer. Hopefully clear up some of the uh, the lag. And take a look at the next entry. We have the GTCC crew. Let's get a like spike as this comes in. Kind of spawn stick doesn't look like. It's like only the one vehicle. Yeah, I don't know. I think it must be painted in fleet colors because these are my uh, fleet colors. Unless the, the green is intentional, but uh, I doubt it. I like the uh, little planes with the catapult. It's a nice touch. Some rail guns in there. Overall, nice looking boat. I'm so unfortunate that uh, it's painted in fleet colors because, uh, yeah, the, the I mean, the, the green just doesn't really look so good <laughs> on such a big vehicle. But uh, I don't know, what can you do? Alright, let's take a look at the next design. We have the Baylor MK3. Looks like three vehicles. Once again, I'm, I'm, I don't know if this is. I'm guessing these are my fleet colors. I usually don't paint ships bright green like that. Got uh, 
Looks like three are these destroyers. What does it say? Look like destroyers to me. And the uh, the main uh, battleship. I guess we'll hit the the battleship first. Not quite as the. I mean, it looks good, but it's not quite as uh, detailed as the other entries. Some big noodle guns with uh, railgun components in there. Guessing this one will do well in the combat portion. Lots of lambs. Let's take a look at the destroyers. are all the just the same three of the same uh, class all right and I think there's one last entry to look at just yeah the display version something it's like glitching out when you try to load it in or something I think it's these three things. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, the, the creator was having trouble getting all of the, the entries to spawn in right. Oh, that's pretty neat. This? The forge heart. Yeah, that is cool.
Man, this thing is just amazing. Like a full, like the, the interior is like fully walkable and like functional and decorated. It's really cool, and like all the uh, the moving parts. We're all really cool. I think the other ones are part of it too. You, know, you got the flame soul. It's like a bunch of little uh suicide. Looks like yeah, suicide crafts. Cheese. <laughs> Uh, that one when we actually get there I have to figure out if it's gonna crash the game every time I load it in but that's it for this one this is gonna be, gonna be the uh, FTD World Cup um, and we'll, we'll have the, uh, the actual fights here uh, as soon as I get a chance and super busy um, with work and then uh, we got uh, starter ship scrimmage 2 is running right now so i'm going to try and fit these fit these in when i can um so look forward to that i uh, hope you guys enjoyed um if you did go ahead and give me that thumbs up and we'll see you next time